Many people when starting college or when deciding to change career paths or majors to pre-med, they'll often ask themselves and ask the question, what is the best pre-med major? In this video, I'll be debunking some of the myths that are out there on this topic and also giving my opinion on what is the best major to choose as a pre-med student. What's going on everyone? Welcome back to my channel and thank you for clicking on this video. For those of you who may be new, my name is Terrence. I'm an accepted medical school applicant and I'll be starting medical school this upcoming August of 2020. As someone who went from a college athlete and a non-science major to a biology major and a pre-med student, I've experienced firsthand the struggle of going online and looking up what is the best major to be as a pre-med student and finding all these different contrasting ideas and, and answers. From my perspective, I'll first start off with saying this. I would tell you that I never, ever, ever would ever see myself being a biology major. As a high school student, I thought that being a biology major was boring, it was too bland, it was too basic. I didn't think I would stand out personally, and I didn't think I would have a good time uh, studying biology, although I did like physiology, and I did like uh, science and biology. The same thing crossed my mind as I was making the decision to transfer schools and become a pre-med major. You know, there is no pre-med major for any schools. There is prerequisites that you have to take as a pre-med, but uh, there's no specific major that you have to choose. And when you're making your search, you may see a few different things that kind of sound like this, where, you know, they say, don't be a generic science major because uh, you won't stand out as an applicant. You know, my friend's cousin's brother's girlfriend's best friend was a dance major and she got into medical school. And I heard that, you know, that's the only reason she got an interview because she was a dance major and it, sh it made her stand out. You know, all these different things that you may hear. And for me, those are 100% uh, myths. There are so many different things that will probably make you unique as a person other than what you are as a major. So definitely don't look at your major as a stamp and people just looking at you and saying like, oh, there's another biology major again. Oh, this guy's just following the trend. He's just, you know, he's not unique in any way. I think there's so many different things that makes you as an individual and as an applicant unique that you have to tap into uh, other than that label of your major and your degree. Ultimately, my opinion on this is one, I chose to be a biology major because I was transferring schools and I was already behind in the timetable and I wanted the fastest thing possible to be able to complete all the prerequisite courses and also uh, be able to apply to medical school and be competitive. For most schools, if you complete a biology major, you'll be most likely completing all the prerequisites and more uh, when it comes to applying to medical school. I was a biology major specifically for that reason and i also enjoy biology so it kind of worked out for me the second thing is i've heard time and time again people that were non-science majors or non-traditional science majors let's say at paramedic or athletic training or something like that i've heard time and time again that they've struggled to get into medical school or struggled to be seen as competitive because they weren't taking they were only taking the prerequisite courses but they weren't taking the upper level and the upper division science courses because it wasn't built into their curriculum when you're a biology major when you're a chemistry major physics major th th basic science like that those upper division science uh challenging science courses are built into your curriculum and you are forced to take them and when schools see that you are taking these challenging science courses they look at you as more competitive ap applicant that can handle harder sciences uh, and be more prepared for medical school than somebody that has only taken the prerequisite courses on top of their non-science uh, major classes. So if you're a non-science major, it may be something where schools may look at you and say, hey, you might have to take a post back or you might have to take a master's program just to prove to them that you could handle this upper division coursework. And it's unfortunate and I hate that that's the case, but I've heard it so many times where people have to take these post backs or master's programs when they're non-traditional or a non-science major, just because schools don't see them as competitive as somebody that's taken all these upper division courses that have already been embedded within their curriculum. Uh, lastly, I think that if you wanna be a non-science major, it's important to know that you may have to work harder than somebody that is a traditional science major. And I, like I said before, it's unfortunate and it kind of goes off of the second point, but you will have to take these additional classes on top of what you're already taking. So if you're taking, let's say 15 credits worth of 
your actual major coursework you might have to take additional classes you will have to take additional classes on top of that unless you're getting up to 18 20 credits a semester which is crazy uh some of you guys might be doing that right now for me that's crazy if you're getting up to 18 21 credit hours 20 credit hours maxing out your credit hours every single semester you're not having the time to do the volunteering that you want you're not having the time to do the emt or scribe job that you may want to do to uh, boost your extracurriculars and boost your uh, healthcare experiences and when you're taking time away from those different things and time away to shadow and do all those other things because you're taking all these courses it ends up be making you less competitive in the long run so i definitely tell people do not just be a science a non-science major just to be a non-science major be a non-science major because that's your true passion that's what you truly want to do and you don't mind you know maybe taking a longer route to get to uh, where you want to get to yes of course uh, there's definitely some non-science majors out there some humanities majors watching this video right now cursing me out in the comments saying that yeah this is completely wrong i got into medical school i know my best friend got into medical school and they were a non-science major and yes this is definitely most likely the case i'm just talking about my experience and i'm not saying that anybody that is a non-science major can't get into medical school i'm just saying from the myths that i've heard uh, I don't think that being a biology major is a negative thing. I don't think that being a traditional science major is a negative thing. I think that if you want to get that two for one deal and also be able to do uh, the other things that make you competitive, I think that was something that was advantageous for me because I was able to get that two for one deal and go off and do everything else that I want to do that truly made me unique and stand out as an applicant. So it's a double edged sword and you kind of have to pick your poison, and pick that balance of what you want. But it's important to know know that there are positives and negatives to you know both sides and understand you know where you may lie in that spectrum thank you for watching this video thank you if you made it to the end please make sure to subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed the video i'll be putting out weekly videos just like this one on my pre-med experience pre-med advice the mcat and my future experiences as a medical student thank you and good luck to everyone out there in your journey and let's get it